In this video we'll show you how we can uh, create a machining program and then go back and modify the geometry. So I'm in uh, the CAD system uh, at the moment. Uh, so this is the part that uh, I've drawn up. So what I'll do first of all is I'll just create a profile for turning. So we go into NC mode. This shows me the date and position. If it's in the correct position, I can leave it. I'm going to create a profile which starts at the front. It's not closed, therefore I need to give it the end point, which is here. OK, now I only need to create a profile of half of the shape. And in fact, if you create a profile of the entire shape above and below the center lines, um, it'll cause problems later on. So only do one half of it. It doesn't matter if you choose the top half or the bottom half. So we uh, save this uh, file away and I'll call this mod 3. So we take that through into machining. Check on our tool change position, that's all OK. And I'll just define a standard tool. Uh, I'll set that it's approaching from the rear and it's mounted on a rear turret. This is a standard CNMG tip. Select that tool for use. Switch on constant surface speed, feed per rev, and switch the coolant on. So if I do a just a simple machining operation on here, I'll just use the turn macro to rough out uh, those first faces. OK, so I've got um, uh, some machining there. And if I was finished with that job, I would just post process it using whatever post processor was uh, uh, appropriate. And then we save all the files away and they're available for us the next time. So uh, that's in its simplest case. Now supposing uh, something happens, either the design has changed or we're doing similar parts based on uh, this one basic shape. If I close down the uh, CAM system, so I'm back in the CAD now, now, supposing uh, we want to change this face here, it's currently 32 millimeters, and we might want to change it to something else. The first thing to do is to delete out the, uh, the profile. Um, so we're going to modify the geometry and then recreate it. So we choose delete, right click, and choose the type of item we want to delete. So we'll delete a contour or profile. OK. So if I just zoom in on there now, what I'll do is I'll use the move command to move this area here. So I choose move and then from the vertical toolbar here, I choose move an area and I simply click and drag around the area that I'm interested in. Now you'll notice that it's highlighted certain parts. These are the things which are going to be moved. So if I choose near snap to snap to an existing point this one and then I can move that to a different location now that's all okay if I was snapping onto a grid but in most cases I'd want to move it by a specific amount so I can use the uh, command window at the bottom and just type in where I want to move it to so I'm going to move that in X two millimeters don't forget within the CAD system we're always working in X and Y so I type in that I want to move those features that I've selected X two millimeters. So when I press the enter key, it moves the items along and you'll notice that the associative dimensioning has been updated to reflect the move. So now I can recreate the contour, sorry, the profile. So I go into NC mode. I'm still creating um, a profile. This is the start point and this is the end point of the profile. Now, if I just go straight into machining, then the um, drawing name will remain the same. And when I get into the cam, it knows that the geometry has changed and it wants me to reload the geometry now, and I say yes. So what's happened now is this has now reloaded the geometry 
and if I run the job again then the toolpath is being recalculated on the new set of geometry. The other thing that you might want to do is if you have a long list of program operations here is you can highlight the operations and use the shift key and use the control key standard windows uh, selection methods right click the mouse and you can cut copy and paste these so for instance if you copy them and you start a new machining program uh, then you can paste the machining operations into an existing job so if I start a new job then I simply click in here and go paste so if you uh, start off a new job uh, and give it a new name within the CAD system come into CAM and then cut and paste between jobs to open different jobs you can always get to them via the window command here because it's got a multiple document interface so you can have multiple documents open at any time so you can simply flick between the uh, different jobs and cut and paste uh, between them okay so that's how that works